Hey, it's Kyle with Midwest Aftermarket. We are here live in Las Vegas for SEMA 2018. Yeah, up top. How you doing? There we go. We're doing great. We are live in Las Vegas. I am Kyle with Midwest Aftermarket in the Smitty Built booth alongside Glenn. And we have some cool products to take a look at this year, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. Well, right here to my right is the Striker Bumper, the all brand new Striker Bumper that we built for the JL. What makes this thing pretty cool is, guess what? It fits the JK2. So um, for, for the convenience for the consumer and the store, you're stocking one part number that fits both JK and JL. Well, and I would assume also if you upgrade, you're also going to be able to uh, hang on to that too, right? Oh, definitely. I mean, if you take a look at this bumper, um, you know what? I had some people come by and thought it was OE. Really? I, I took that as a compliment. That's a huge compliment. And then in, in the fact that of the quality and the build, they came by and they said, hey, I thought that was a Mopar piece. Yeah. Well, and also the look too, right? It, you know what? Being stamped, there's things you can do with character lines, um, texture that you cannot do with fabricated bumpers. And trust me, we make a lot of fabricated bumpers. We're known for our bumpers. Um, this is our first venture into a stamp bumper. Um, we're really proud of it. As you can see, the style in it is second to none. Um, it's going to be uh, very recognizable when, once you see it on the street. What else is nice about it is actually these wings you can take off and it becomes a rock crawling stubby bumper. Ooh, very nice, okay, yeah, so you've got the uh, look that you've come to expect also with the Smitty built uh, value and the, you know, the, how, how uh, just um, durable it is. Uh, it is extremely durable. It's about three and a half millimeters thick, deep draw. It's got the strength equivalent to, if not a little bit more than the OE, but we have some added features that we put on here. The winch plate comes included. You have a spot for your factory fog lights. And then what's cool too is on our D-rings here, you have a hole for your D-ring shackle. And this triangular cut out here, that's actually for a trail jack. So if you're, cool. out, in the, if you're out in the road and uh, you break down off road, you have a place to, to safely capture the jaw of your trail jack so you can jack up your vehicle safely. Well, and how many people wish they had something similar to that when those bad times come around, right? If you don't have one of these bumpers, trust me, some of the bumpers, they will, uh, that trail jack will tear it apart. On this one here, you don't have to worry about it. So that's the brand new bumper. What else is brand new on this Jeep from Smitty Built? Well, if you want to walk around, we yeah, have absolutely. Our, our brand new tube door that we're coming out for the JL. This will be the first time that we're going to include a steel skin that you can remove and expose a, a tube traditional door behind it. Ah. The, tr the traditional tube door. Um, for a person that, that uh, wants a little more air, this panel can come off and you still have the, the safety guard of a traditional tube door. Comes with a very cool um, distinctive latch that we came out last year at, at, here at the show. Um, what else matching this is our brand new slider. It's called the Apollo series. And one of the things that we definitely love about this, as you can see, the design, we're not shy on the design. It is very bold design. Uh, one other thing that we add to this to make sure that, you know, we know all the Jeep consumers love to customize their vehicles and make it personalized. So one of the things you can do, this is the color scheme you get out of the box, but you can see these screws, um, you can remove these panels. You can color code it to the vehicle, contrast it against your vehicle. Definitely a way for the Jeeper to personalize his vehicle. Well, you're talking about how that thing's not shy, but it also it looks like it's supposed to be there. It looks like it fits the Jeep as opposed to just being shoehorned on. Oh, uh, definitely. You know, it's got all the right curves in the right places. It's got the protection below. There's three points that it touches to the body. So not only does it function, um, it provides protection to, to, to the rocker panel. Well, you've got me listening when you say it's got curves in all the right places. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we are in Vegas. Absolutely. There we go. Yeah, so you want to walk around to the back of the Jeep, see what's up? Yeah, no, towards in the back of the Jeep, it is the the um, the rear striker bumper that we're going to be coming out with. This is actually will be coming out in about, about six months. The front bumper will be out in about 45 days. As you can see here, great styling on, on the rear bumper. Um, comes out with ports where you can use your 3x3 three three cube lights there. Same thing, same treatment, that type of D-ring mount that allows you to put a D-ring for recovery or a trail jack can go in there and, and lift it up. We also include the hitch on there, which is a class three rated. And so it's ready to tow, ready right out of the box. And just like the, the, fr the front brother, um, the side wings can be removed. So you have much lower profile um, or slimmer uh, profile of, of a bumper for rock crawling. You can certainly see people here at uh, SEMA checking this thing out. And, of course, it has that style and the dependability from Smitty Built, just like we were talking about a few minutes ago. So there's some more new product inside of the booth. Want to take a look? 
Definitely. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Are you are very excited about this winch, as you should be. This is the third generation of Smitty built winches, right? Definitely. This is the XRC. Back in 2008, we introduced our first XRC 8, uh, which made, let's just put it this way, it allowed almost every Jeeper to put a winch on their, uh, on their, on their vehicle. Today, um, it's commonplace to have a winch on their, their vehicle. Um, with that success, now, as you said, this is our third generation. As you can see here, we've gone very bold, very bold in style, just like our bumpers are. And we understand to a lot of people, you know, in front of the Jeep, that's what you see is your winch. It's very prominent. It sits right up there. So, you know what? Let's make sure that not only do we pack it full of technology, reliable technology, but we also have a bold look to, 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 to back it up. So you can be proud of your winch. So some of the things we've done, um, on our winch, on a 9.5 winch, is we went from a 6.6 .6 horsepower motor to a 7 horsepower motor. What else we've done is we got a more efficient motor that um, draws about 10% less amps, but also get, but plus with the added horsepower, we're able to increase our line speed even during under load by 10%. So you now you get, you get a faster line speed, drawing less power, you know, all the functionality and capability that you want out of your winch. And then to top all that coolness with, as you can see, a bold look. So what you can see here is our demonstration of the armor plate. We're the only wench manufacturer that includes an armor plate that you put on top. Obviously, when you ship, this is just for display purposes. It will sit down flush like this. Now, if you think about it, we sell a lot of XRC wenches out there. Imagine yourself and you got your buddy next to you. Your XRC wench looks like his XRC wench. What we're doing to give you the ability is to remove the, the panels. You can actually color code these to match your vehicle or contrast them. That's cool. That is cool. Put it back on. Now you know your winch is really personalized to you. What else we've done is we put the bolts for our tie rod in the front. Makes it a little easier to remove. Again, also allowing you to color code it because we realize winch is probably one of the last things on a Jeep that a person can customize and make it himself. Uh, but we don't stop there. You know, one of the things we realize is sometimes you need just a simple indicator to let you know if your, your winch is in gear or not. How foolproof is this? This is telling me this is things in free spool. From 10 feet away, I can tell right, you right away if it's engaged in free spool. Look at that. That's idiot proof, and that's why I enjoy that. <laughs> uh, what else we've done here is let's check out this remote. We changed our remote around. You know, the remotes haven't have probably looked the same in the probably in the last, geez, 20 years? Yeah, however many years. Right. Yeah, it's it's you know, it's got a little style, but we completely went around it. You know what we kind of got an idea when I was using a cordless drill the other day or, or not the other day about a year ago this is the in out and your trigger mechanism got a button for your flashlight it also has a magnet on there so if I put it on the hood it isn't gonna slip away if it's connected to the winch I can operate it pretty easily and I don't have to worry about dropping it you know on the ground it's pretty ingenious and it's really smart uh, revolutionizing parts of the car that other people aren't even thinking about right exactly exactly because you know what uh, you know, over at Smithville, we, we're not we're not just uh, you know manufacturers. Every single one is, we're enthusiasts. We all rock this. And you can definitely tell because in addition to the you know how how good of a product this is, the fact that you're able to customize this man that's going to be hot. So in addition to the XRC Gen 3 winch, we could, we're going to be calling the Halo. The winch hook, as we all know, has probably been the same for about four decades. And what we wanted to do was introduce also bold styling in the hook. So when you have it in front of your vehicle, you know what? Be proud of that hook. Be proud of the fact that it is meaty, it's strong, and it looks cool too. Uh, it's gonna be a game changer. I'm excited to come April when we launch these. Okay, well, we're gonna be excited too come April when you can pick this up at MidwestAftermarket.com. You can also pick up everything else that we've been talking about that Smitty Built has in the pipeline already and already out. Thank you so much, Glenn. Thank you, Kyle, appreciate it. All right, man, thanks. We'll see you soon.